there guys, Aaron Chandler here for Forever Football, DRFC, your dog Strobers fan channel. As you'll have seen by today's news, spending more time friendly with us has been cancelled due to a positive COVID-19 outbreak in the squad. We're going to talk about that, we're going to talk about uh, some transfer rumours on Black Blackburn Rovers loanies, Conor McBride and Ainsley Pears. We're also going to speak about Ian Law that was released from our, uh, that was announced on our release list, our released and retained list. Uh, he's on trial at a Scottish club. More on that later in this episode. But like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here. Click the bell so you never miss another video. And let's get straight into today's daily reports. So let's start off with the big breaking news, and that is of course the friendly with Spanymore Town has been cancelled. Uh, this announced on the official Rovers website and it reads as follows. Uh, Dogs Rovers can confirm that the pre-season friendly against Spennymore Town, scheduled to be played in the evening of July the 13th, has been cancelled due to a member of the Rovers squad testing positive for COVID-19 with close contacts being identified. The safety, health and well-being of the players, staff and supporters of both teams were par paramount in taking the decision to call off the game. All other pre-season friendlies are expected to go ahead. Everyone at the club would like to thank Spennymore Town for their understanding and support following the cancellation of this match. So, uh, that is the official first story, the big breaking news that uh, the friendly with Spennymore Town has been officially cancelled due to a COVID-19 outbreak with one positive test. Uh, and close contacts being identified. Now, like I said, all of the pre-season friendlies have been are planned to go ahead as originally planned. Um, Bradford's the main one that I'm concerned about. I'm not too sure whether the restrictions would allow that to continue, but I could be wrong. There will still be a preview for that game out on the 16th. If the game is cancelled the day after on, uh, before the match, then I will obviously bring the preview down as I did with the Spending More Town match, uh, as you'll have seen on the channel. But um, very interesting stuff there. Um, so at the moment, the other preseason friendlies are still going ahead. I will be at the Newcastle game on the 23rd. I'm not too sure I'll be able to make it to Sheffield United a few days later because of other commitments, but I will still be uh, listening out to that match. Uh, so stay tuned for uh, my review of that match anyway. Uh, obviously reviews of the other matches as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, but let's now talk about our other stories. This is transfer updates now. And we start off with one of our released players, Ian Lawler. And according to a specific source, according to the 72 wheel of the football league.com, uh, he is on trial with Dundee, not Dundee United, Dundee FC. Uh, after his departure, as per a report by the Courier. Now, Dundee are casting their eye over the goalkeeper as they prepare for next season. Uh, Lawler, 26 years old, was released by Doncaster at the end of the last campaign and is weighing up his next move in the game. He spent last term on loan at Lo Oldham in League 2 uh, and made 39 appearances to the North West side in all competitions. He's been on the books at Doncaster for the past four years and made a total of 85 appearances for the League 1 club as well as spending time out on loan at Scunthorpe United. He played for Man City as a youngster and had loan spells away at Barnet and the late club Berry to gain his experiences. Uh, the ex-Republic of Allen International played a couple of pre-season friendlies with City and trained with their first team regularly but never made a competitive senior appearance. He left on a permanent basis in 2017 and helped Doncaster gain promotion to League One in his first year as, at the club. Uh, he was then in and out of the side and found himself out on loan over the past two years. Uh, Dundee have now brought him in on trial following their promotion to the Scottish Premiership. Uh, the Ds are managed by the former Coventry City defender, Jamie McPaik. Now, obviously that is a huge story. Uh, Ian Lawler on trial at Dundee United, and I really do wish him all the best with that. I really, really do. Um, and I hope that he does find uh, happiness with Dundee. I hope he does get accepted onto that squad if he does well in his trial period. And, uh, you know, he, he does deserve the move. I spoke to him uh, a little bit after, uh, well, before the uh, last match of the previous season against Peterborough United. And, um, you know, he was a wonderful guy to speak to. Really wonderful guy. And um, overall, I think it's going to be great for him. I think the move to uh, Dundee would be great for him if he gets accepted onto his trials, uh, after his trials. So uh, best of luck to Ian Lawler over in Dundee in Scotland. 
Final story on two Blackburn loanees. Of course, this is just rumours, so take it with a pinch of salt. I would advise you on that. Uh, but this all comes from uh, um, the... Well, it originally came from the journalist uh, Alan Nixon uh, about Ainsley Pears and Colin McBride. Now, obviously, we've got two separate articles on both stories. Uh, the first one is a new update on the goalkeeper, Ainsley Pears, uh, via Football League World. Uh, world? World. Uh, now, Blackburn Rovers uh, goalkeeper Ainsley Pears could be on his way to Doncaster Rovers this summer with the League One club side boss Richard Wellens confirming he's in the market for a goalkeeper and we already uh, we knew that already. After joining on a four-year deal from Middlesbrough in October, the 23-year-old has made three appearances for the club and was behind Belgian international Thomas Kaminski in the pecking order for much of last season. With Antonis Sturgakis and Jordan Easton as other options for the Tom Tony Mowbray and and um, both being involved in the first team this preseason, it could potentially open the door for Pears to make an exit this summer as he searches for more first team football. One thing that could potentially block a move for Pears is Kaminsky's late call up to the Belgium Euro squad late last month, but a seemingly remained injury free during the tournament is expected to be ready for the domestic side's opener in the championship against Swansea City at the start of August. Uh, now, with the lack of first team football, Pears has been linked to a move to Doncaster Rovers by the Sun journalist Alan Nixon. A Doncaster boss well in has further increased speculation about a potential deal for a goalkeeper in his comments in the free press, saying we have two or three options for a goalkeeper and we're just trying to manoeuvre into position. There's one we could possibly press the button on, but the um, ratchet and punishments for not paying him are too high. If we get those down, then we could possibly press the button on that one. And of course, the other source, the Lancashire Telegraph, has been reporting about uh, Connor McBride. Now, um, apparently, Connor McBride believes opportunities will arise for members of the under-23 squad after enjoying a positive start to pre-season. And further down the article, it was mentioned by the Lancashire Telegraph that Rovers will consider a spell away on loan next season should the opportunity arise for the attacker, with Donks Rovers linked over that weekend. So... Obviously, the big story here is that Pears could be an option, according to Alan Nixon, and Colin McBride has also been rumoured uh, with the loan move over as well. Both Blackburn youngsters rumoured to be moving to Doncaster Rovers uh, on a loan, on a season-long loan. Now, of course, we are looking at loans, and goalkeeper uh, is an interesting one. You know, if I think it's one or the other. It's like the lesser of two evils, in a way, because if we go with a loan deal, then I know a lot of the fans won't like a loan deal, and especially, you know, we've got Lewis Jones number one now, which is, you know, what we wanted. Uh, but I think that if you go with a loan deal, obviously there is that cost of you know paying uh, paying more money if we don't play him. So obviously there's a bit of a risk with that. If we go with a permanent deal, would it be worth the the wages and the money we pay for him? Um, and obviously with the length of contract as well. If we don't like him, we can't really get rid of him unless we have to you know pay compensation to whoever uh, we get him uh, who gets him from us. So obviously there is a lesser of two evils here. I would much rather go for a permanent goalkeeper, but if we've got no other option. Uh, and we have to prioritise our budget to other positions, in permanent positions, then, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be against that. And to be fair, I've heard a lot of good stuff from both Pears and McBride. Obviously, we've signed Jordi Hawula in the striking position, but obviously he's mainly like a left winger, left inside forward. So, you know, you don't really see Hawula playing striker. So, realistically, you've got Bogle and Okunabiri as striker. So, you need one more. And I think Colin McBride could be that extra guy that we need. So, um, I'd be a fan of both moves. You know, I I would love, I would have liked a permanent goalkeeper, but I think we are still training uh, Lewis Jones and Ben Bottomley. Obviously, Bottomley's now back up to Lewis Jones until the new keeper comes in. And and uh, Lewis Jones is our number one. So, um, you know, no one's really going to topple Lewis Jones long term, um, especially with loan deals. You know, the loan deal is only for a season. So, uh, you know, Lewis Jones will be the, the long term. He'll be the, the goalkeeper we have at number one for the next decade or so. Uh, he's the guy we're going to be pushing for the future. And we'll uh, see what happens. But um, if the situation was that Pears and McBride were moving to this club, I'd be a fan of it because I think both players are young potential prospects i think that both of them uh, would do exceptionally well at this club so if it's true i won't be against the move if it's not true we go ahead we move on we look at other players in the goalkeeping position and any other strikers we want to bring in on loan to uh, give that extra competition to fajiri okanabir when he's back from injury and of course omar bogle but that is going to be it guys for this daily report obviously this is a replica uh, 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 
a, a say a, a, not a, not a re not a replica, um, but a fill in, uh, a replacement. That's the one to uh, the scheduled review of the spending more match, which of course is not happening now. So uh, you know this is in replacement to that. Uh, so of course we will be back during the week with well during the weekend with uh, Bradford City game uh, that will be previewed on the 16th of July so stay tuned for that one uh, but for now guys I'm Aaron Chandler from Fremont Football DRFC keep living the Rovers life and that my friends full time Rovers side die best wishes go to um, obviously the spending more town to the player tested positive COVID-19 and uh, finally just before we go we want to sort of end this video uh, unfortunately on a sad note uh, we do want to pay tribute um, to two uh, former players uh, of Doncaster Rovers. Uh, obviously a former um, Leeds United player, um, Mick, uh, Mick Bates. And uh, we also want to pay tribute to uh, Ernie Moss, the former Doncaster Rovers player and Chesterfield player, who both sadly passed away in the last 48 hours. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you in the next video very, very soon.